Um, but we have a, 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 what I would call an irreconcilable conflict because the Democratic Party has departed from the fundamental American idea, which is that we don't judge people by their origins, by their skin color, by their ethnicity. This is what this country is about. This is what we have fought 250 years to, to complete, that we're going to judge everybody as individuals and hold them accountable as individuals. The Democratic Party is possessed now by an ideology, which they call identity politics. Identity politics is you judge people by their skin color, by their ethnicity, by their gender, uh, by their class position, provided they disagree with you. Um, amazing to me to hear all of these attacks on the 1%. Um, Elizabeth Warren is a one percenter. She is worth eight and a half million dollars. She lives in a five million dollar mansion. By lying uh, about her ethnic origins, she got a job at Harvard for $350,000 for one class. I mean, come, and then she attacks the corruption of the economic system. Look, you can just leave. If, if you don't shut up, we're going to just shut this meeting down, or you're going to be hauled out. Yeah, the agenda, is, uh, the agenda is to restore this country to what it has been for 250 years before the leftists came in with Obama and started to destroy it. It's very simple. That's the agenda. And I will get to that. I was going to conclude with it, but look, what was Trump's inaugural? Trump's inaugural was this. Trump's inaugural was this. It was to oppose the American idea of one nation, of one people, of e pluribus unum against the left's racism. Identity politics is racist. It privileges people on the basis of their skin color, their gender, uh, or their class position. That's a racist ideology. You can see it in the term people of color which is a racist term. If you think about people of color, and it, its root is cultural Marxism, and that's the way the left describes it. You read leftist tracts, identity politics is cultural Marxism. Marxism is this malicious idea that the world is all about oppression and oppressed. So anybody who succeeds, anybody Anybody who succeeds, succeeds at the expense of somebody who fails. And anybody who has failed in their lives, made bad decisions, done things that are self-destructive, those people are guiltless. They're not responsible because they're oppressed. That's the leftist idea. That's why they hate Republicans. That's why they hate Jeff Sessions, decent human being that he is because he doesn't subscribe to their identity hierarchies. If you think of the term people of color, think about Mexico, two ethnic groups, main groups, the descendants of the Spanish conquistadors, the oppressors, and the descendants of the survivors of the indigenous Indians whom they slaughtered and enslaved, the oppressed. But when these, when these two groups come across the border, legally or illegally, all of a sudden they're people of color, therefore oppressed, therefore deserving certain sensibilities, certain sensitivities. We have to cut them slack and understand their misbehaviors if they misbehave. Uh, and they get special privileges as people of color. Maharajas in India are people of color. Beheaders and crucifiers, the Islamic beheaders in Raqqa, and Iraq, those are people of color. Maharajas in India, those are people of color. Everybody in the world is people of color, therefore oppressed and deserving certain sensitivities, except the bad guys, the oppressors. Who's that? White people. This is a racist ideology. It has possessed the Democratic Party, and of course they're all hypocrites, so it doesn't matter to them that they're white. Um, they just got a big, Whatever it is, well, like see it as opportunity. Um, same thing with the 1%. What about George Soros, a 1%er? Um, anyway.
This is what the conflict we have now is about, and this is how Trump addressed it at the inauguration. What does... Wait, uh, I'm, I'm going to quote from the inaugural, and then, then we can go on. Sure. And this is the big agenda. He said, if we are loyal to our country, we can learn to be loyal to each other. If you have uh, patriotism in your heart, there will be no room for prejudice. We are black and brown and white, but we all bleed patriot red. That is the creed. That, that's the real agenda. It is to restore to America the idea we are a nation of individuals, not collectivities, not races, not genders, but individuals with individual rights, individual freedoms, and individual, and we are accountable for ourselves. There are no people in America who are oppressed except children who have chosen the wrong parents. But there are no, no, no people. Why would Haitians want to come here, risk their lives to be oppressed? No, because a, a Haitian in America, despite bigots here and there, a Haitian in America has more rights, more privileges, more opportunities than he does in Haiti, which has been run by black people for over 200 years. And it's not because they're black. It's because of the founding. It's because of everything in this, as it's a square, independent square. Every, all those documents created a political system where people treated as individuals and as equals before the law have unprecedented rights and opportunities.